So, uh, welcome to Rigged. Uh, this is uh, a game um, based on the Wretched and Alone uh, game created by Chris Bissett. Uh, the Wretched, uh, fantastic game. Head over to uh, lootheroom.itch.io to find the Wretched game there. Um, but this is a hack of that um, called Rigged by Gylera RPGs. Um, and you can find them uh, over at itch as well. So that's G I L A R P G S dot itch dot io. And I'll put all those links uh, in the description be below. Um, so what is the wretched? It's a it's a, a solo uh, journaling RPG, um, and you use a Jenga tower, um, which I just need to repair here actually. Ah, that's not a good start because if the Jenga tower falls it's game over um, and in this version of the game I'm playing a hacker who is in uh, terrible debt uh, they've been offered the chance of clearing that debt if they take on Atlas Corps an evil uh, corporation so this is a cyberpunk game set far in the future uh, I'm a hacker called Boise and I've got my rig all ready um, and I'm going to try and launch an attack against Atlas to raid their black box um, and earn money to pay off my debts um, and this uh, particular game rigged uh, inspired me to write um, a wretched and alone game called Weaver which is from the corporation's point of view so it follows uh, the story of a detective who is uh, investigating the murder of the director of security based at Atlas Corp um, and you can play these two games um, one after the other in any order actually really but probably rigged first um, because it ex kind of explains uh, what's going on but you could play the, the other way uh, do Weaver first and uh, get a, some clues into why the security uh, director of security was murdered um, and then play it the other way and then play rigged to find out the real truth of what was going on um, so we begin the game by rolling a d6 and in uh, tabletop simulator I always seem to roll sixes when I'm playing a wretched game but we'll see what happens this time and it's fallen off. Is it going to come back? Come back! Please! I thought it was supposed to. Oh, there it is. Grab it. Throw it so hard this time. A two! Okay. So I didn't. I didn't. Roll a six. Right. Oh, don't want the whole deck. So what we do is we flip two cards and then we look at the oracle um, to see what events these are so you can see my first day log which was a script provided in the rules and that's pretty much standard for all these uh, wretched and alone games so that's your first day that's to get you started and then every log after that you're on your own really um, to start using your imagination and role playing so let's uh, flip this first card the two of clubs okay the two of clubs let's have a look so um, clubs in this game uh, represents runs you've made before you started this atlas suicide mission so we're reminiscing really when you draw a club you are reflecting on your previous experiences learning from your mistakes or at least hoping you don't make the same mistakes twice so let's have a look at clubs two two of clubs to think you're taking on atlas when you consider how you got started in this business what was your very first run like was it a success or a total disaster it's got to be a disaster hasn't it um, I think that's more fun to role play so what what maybe uh, went wrong um, yeah, cheap equipment maybe mate yes and that's why I started getting myself into debt and probably lots of people can uh, empathize with that um, or unless maybe not everyone has personalities like me but I think lots of things in my life you you, you get sometimes get caught up in that trap of wanting to improve things I'm a keen cyclist um, and I went through a spell of you know wanting to constantly improve my bicycle and buy new parts it got ridiculous and some I eventually snapped out of that um, 
uh, snapped out of that and just kind of woke up one day oh why, why am I spending all this money on my bicycle it's getting ridiculous um, I digress so maybe that's a similar thing uh, with his first hack it went terribly wrong so he started doing some research like we all do on the internet what oh, what, what could I have done differently how could I improve my rig uh, and it just got more and more out of control uh, buying the next best thing the latest technology um, so already I'm building a picture of my hacker started off as a bit of a noob wasn't very good uh, increasingly got into debt to improve his skills and his rig uh, the six of clubs so two clubs there um, sure you've made lots of enemies in this line of work but you've also made some good friends who did you meet during a run that you ultimately became friends with were they an enemy competition or an ally to start with um, were they competition, an enemy, or an ally to start with? What if, so following on from the two of clubs, well, I don't need to pull from the tower for the two of clubs, and I don't for the six, so that's a good start. So sometimes you've got to pull a, a block from the tower. And the tower represents uh, my physical well-being. Um, how am I coping with these uh, these dives into cyberspace to run these hacks dealing with um, countermeasures trying to fry my brain and, and uh, burn out my rig to try and stop me from hacking these corporations uh, it also represents uh, my situation being tracked and traced by uh, security personnel from Atlas Corp trying to track me down uh, being tracked and traced by uh, the debt uh, the loan sharks trying to get their money back and break my knees perhaps or something like that um, and and yeah and the uh, the debt I'm spiraling in um, so it kind of represents all those things so when the tower falls it, it's game over where was I? Uh, two of clubs no six of clubs so who was this good friend? I think it's someone who helped me out early on um, they became an ally really fast maybe I reached out on some forums uh, on whatever social work, uh, social uh, media platforms there are in the future to get help my rig let me down I failed in a hack uh, what should I buy next and maybe someone reaches out now what will be interesting is actually uh, maybe they uh, were a loan shark actually and their take initially and early on took advantage of this noob encouraging them to spend more money I'll lend you some money uh, to pay for that so we've just two cards uh, I've already got a really interesting uh, story that's developing here so I'll film uh, the log next um, and then uh, and then yeah we'll flip some more cards and keep going and see what deep <laughs> trouble we can get my hacker into that was fun